Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 19th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about how during fall and, and as atmospheric carbon and atmospheric greenhouse gas levels have risen, we have tended to see greater effects and greater impa impacts from a climate change related environmental condition called polar amplification in which the poles tend to warm faster than the lower latitudes due to the effects of greenhouse gases which amplify warming at night and and amplify warming at the pole particularly during spring fall and winter as the angle of the sun drops and you get more polar darkness. So looking at the Arctic mean temperature departures for the present period, as we have gotten into September, the high Arctic has exhibited a, an increasing range of departure above the baseline. The baseline here represented in green and the anomaly feature represented in red. This, this departure should continue to range above average as we, for the most part, as we continue into fall and start to hit some, some pretty extensive extremes as we get into winter. We also see this tendency for warmer than normal temperatures in the GFS forecast maps with the Arctic ranging as high as nearly two degrees Celsius above normal for this time of year, and heat above, above normal temperatures starting to focus in on the high Arctic. And we would, would tend to get more and more high Arctic temperature anomalies as we get closer and closer into winter. In particular, over the coming days, we see quite a bit of heat transfer ranging in through Siberia as well as in through the Pacific as Pacific sea surface temperatures are much warmer than normal, particularly in the Bering Sea and in the Chukchi Sea, which is helping to generate a number of ridges in the jet stream over the Bering and a tendency for ridge patterns to develop over Alaska. It's worth noting that these much warmer than normal temperatures have also tended to shift more to the U.S. West Coast, which may result in a prevalence of ridge patterns near the West Coast or over the West Coast as fall evolves into winter. We're, we're going to have to take a look at that. I'm going to talk a bit about some of the, the forecasts for dipole anomalies over the next uh, 228 hours, as indicated by uh, Mike Ventress yesterday. Before I do that, I'd just like to look at some of the uh, jet stream forecasts for see the, the date of September 23rd, which is four days from now, showing a ridge pattern over the eastern Pacific and ranging up toward Alaska with a trough pattern tending to develop toward the central and eastern U.S. And an overall very wavy pattern in the, jet stream, in the jet stream in the Northern Hemisphere as we get toward late September. Now it's worth noting that operational models for the global forecast system do show a, a very strong ridge pattern developing through Alaska and into the Alaskan side of the Arctic Ocean over the next 220 hours. This model run from yesterday and posted by Mike Ventress, but also with a rather deep trough beginning to form in the east over this time frame. And this is the kind of dipole anomaly patterns that we have tended to see during recent fall and winter and spring periods that have a, a number of entanglements with the polar warming that we have tended to see over these periods, the much warmer than typical temperatures over the Arctic, helping to generate 
a, a very wavy jet stream pattern. It's worth noting that these extreme dipole patterns uh, can be associated with extreme weather with more severe storms as a tendency for, for such extreme troughs in the east and warmer than normal temperatures in the west in association with the ridge pattern. So, so something to look at as fall tends to progress over the next few weeks and months and in association with the overall Pacific warming feature that we have tended to see of late, as well as the larger tendency for polar amplification generating impacts on the jet stream as we get into fall and winter. So just an update. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.